Previously on Alan Wake, Alice has been kidnapped. Alan, please help me. Alice? You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. I can't tell anyone except my agent, Barry. Damn it, Barry, the killer. You're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. The ransom is a manuscript I supposedly wrote that's coming true before my eyes. It happened just the way it was on that page. So dark. I have found only a few scattered pages. I want the entire manuscript. The deadline ah. is in two days. I found Mr. Wake's pages. Good girl. How the hell did she get her hands on the manuscript anyway? I don't know. She's resourceful. I told you you were too hard on her. Listen, I found out all sorts of interesting stuff while I was digging around. Yeah. Mr. Wake, it's Sheriff Breaker. We have an FBI agent here, Agent Nightingale. FBI? He's anxious to see you. You'd better come to the station. Okay, I'll be right over, Sheriff. Let's make this quick, huh? Help you folks? Name's Randolph. I'm the manager. We're looking for Rose. Works as a waitress down at the diner. Rose, sure. Nice girl. Who wants to know? I'm Alan Wake. The writer, huh? I heard on the radio you were visiting. Well, I'll show you her trailer. That Rose, she's a nice girl. Always pays her rent on time. As I was saying, Al, I found all sorts of weird stuff from the local newspaper's archives. This place is crazy! Disappearances, mysterious deaths, urban legends come true, and, get this, most of this stuff takes place around Cauldron Lake. Well, you ain't wrong, mister. The Indians thought the lake was a doorway to the underworld. I'm the God-fearing type myself. I, I don't hold with that sort of thing. Yeah, okay. Anyway, there was an island there owned by a guy called Thomas Zane. Now, some of the articles I found about him make him out to be a famous writer, but I ran a bunch of searches, couldn't find a single thing he wrote. Zane was heavily into diving, so much so that the place came to be called Diver's Isle. But the volcano under the lake erupted in 1970, and Zane went down with the island. They, they done talking? What's up, everybody? I'm MJ Gales. This is the Olympic Tower Gaming Channel. I am playing Alan Wake. So excited. I love this game. Uh, quick thing. Um, this is one of my favorite YouTubers. Uh, Christopher Odd would say, you know, uh, set, you know, set the mood. Barbara Jagger you know, turn the lights off, get the headphones out. They were lovers. Sure, Jagger's a local spook store. The scratching hag comes for you in the dark. Childish stuff like that. Anyway, Al, I'm just getting to the best part. All of the articles about this stuff were written by Cynthia Weaver. I asked around, and she's that crazy bag lady you met. What, the lamp lady? She can be a little loopy, but she's not homeless. Anymore. Yeah, anyway, she knew both Jagger and Zane before they both died, and she had some kind of a breakdown. Geez, sometimes with these narrative games, like heavily narrative games, it's so hard to find times to talk. What's up, everybody? Jeez. I, well, I don't know. Like, I'm. I'm like you guys, you know, like I suggest you guys set the mood. This here's Rose's uh, trailer. You mind me asking what you want with her? We're just here to talk to her, pal. You know, unlike uh, me telling you guys to set the mood, you know, I'm not, uh. I'm not really setting the mood myself, you know. I'm, pl I'm playing with the lights on because this game scares the shit out of me sometimes. I'm not, I'm, I'm not too mad to admit it. And this, this game freaks me out. Welcome to, to. Oh dear, Mr. Wake, I'm, I'm so glad you're here. Rose, you have my manuscript. Oh, oh yes. Yes. Please, come in. Yeah, because that's not really scary. Hey, this is really good. Rose. Yes. My manuscript. I really need it. I understand. I know what you need. A muse to inspire you. Oh, for Barry. She doesn't have anything. Yeah. Uh, hey, Al. Al, what's... Oh. Barry! What? What? It's coming. 
coming for you, hiding in my barber's skin. I'm too weak to stop it. You must turn the lights on. I promised I'd come visit you and your lovely wife. You must finish what you started. I insist. You must turn the lights on. Turn the light on. Back to work, boy. Ah! Holy sh shit, can you imagine waking up to that? <laughs> oh. I felt nauseous, hung over. Only anger kept me going. That's not spooky. I can't tell reality from dream anymore, but it seems I have an imaginary editor to help me. She's an old woman in a funeral dress. I call her Barbara Jagger. She's very strict. I I'm writing faster and faster. My manuscript is being heavily revised. The edits are getting very aggressive, and each day there's less of me and more of her. I hate it, but I know she's right. She promises me I can save Alice this way. She knows Rose took a day from me. I had less than 12 hours left to meet the kidnapper. All I could do was get Barry into the car, work something out once I got on the road. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. What can I get you today? Coffee? I couldn't work up much hate for Rose. Something had used her to get to me and left its mark. First refill is free. Milk and sugar on the counter. Ah, that's not creepy. Would you like to hear today's specials? Thank you. Have a nice day. My gun and flashlight were gone. I'd have to find a way to get Barry into the car as quickly as possible. There was no time to waste. Mr. Randolph liked Rose. That little smile she had. How she was still sweet when life had tried so hard to make her bitter. It wasn't any of his business what she did in her trailer. But those strangers... The writer and his smart-ass sidekick looked like trouble, and they'd been in there for hours, way past her normal bedtime. He reached for the phone and called the sheriff's station. Oh, goody, the cops are coming. Man, yes, I, I'm I, like, I, I love the tension this game gives. Stepped outside to catch a breath of fresh air. Let me tell you, the weather's getting heavy. Nights like this make me especially glad I'm here talking to you and not home in bed. Once, once the weather takes a I always, ha I always have to like refamiliarize myself with controls. Get it now. Oh boy. God knows what you've done to that poor girl. This is Agent Nightingale, FBI. Get him up, Hemingway. You're under arrest. Hemingway. Move a muscle all unload right in your goddamn face. Stay right where you are, Slane. Okay, you gotta admit, like, that slow motion was pretty cool. There was no way I'd miss my appointment with the kidnapper. Jeez, I hate that it keeps trying to put you over the left shoulder. Like that. Like, me, personally, that bugs the hell out of me. Yeah, you know, I've talked about this in other episodes. That's probably just because I'm righty myself. You know, it's weird, you know, I'm, I'm playing this game, you know, also, all, you know, by Remedy, the same people who did Quantum Break. You know, I, I'm sitting here going, man, I, I don't know, I think Quantum Break could have used more Alan Wake in it. Because, I mean, this game was damn great. And that one just was missing something, if you ask me.
Oh, jeez, and I just remembered, I have, like, five reviews on, like, in the backlog, you know, I think I have, like, Quantum Break, um, like, I just, I just did Mirror's Edge Catalyst, but, you know, I got, like, Quantum Break, um, jeez, Ratchet and Clank, uh, Uncharted 4, I got a couple games right now that I, I, I gotta just sit down and do the reviews for. For decades, the darkness that wore Barbara Jagger's skin slept fitfully in the dark place that was its home and prison. It was hungry and in pain. It dreamed of its nights of glory when the poet's writing had called it from the depths and given it a brief, terrible taste of power and freedom. The rock stars had stirred it from the deep sleep the poet had sunk it back to in the end. When it sensed the writer on the ferry, it opened its eyes. Okay, that's kind of cool. <laughs> Holy shit. Alright, I'm safe. Too bad I have to leave the light. <laughs> God, I hate that sound. I hate when like the wind starts picking up. Oh Christ. This horror was everywhere I went, circling me. The cops didn't stand a chance. They were after a writer, not a monster. Wake did that requires them to shoot at him. I mean, I understand he's running, but... Great. Jesus. Hey, a thing from uh, Firewatch. Uh, this is Jane Mulligan Thornton. Come in, over. Uh, Thornton here. Uh, Jane, we got both Wheeler and Rose in custody. They didn't put up a fight or anything. Yeah, because Barry was drugged and Rose was somewhat psychotic. I could see the lights at the radio station in the distance. Over. Uh, I don't have anything on that, Deputy Mulligan. Over. Well, whatever. Anyway, we're all just go through this place here. It's one of those uh fire lookout stations. I imagine that the broadcast tower in the distance was part of the local radio station. Maine seemed like a decent guy. Perhaps he could give me directions to the coal mine. Ah, where am I going? Yeah. 
Unnatural shadows clung to the gate. The darkness that was after me was trying to stop me. I wouldn't get through without a light. There was no power to the searchlight. Yeah, because that just... I mean, that just breeds confidence. I think that might be the first time I've ever destroyed a gate with light. <laughs> Doesn't happen a lot in video games. Now I have a flashlight. I got five batteries. It took me a moment to recognize the flashlight grenades. They were an ideal weapon for my situation. Behind me. Oh, -ho -ho. Like this part, like, I it, this is how I love this game, does you know, where it, it won't give you a a weapon necessarily, but it'll give you a You know what I mean? It won't give you a weapon necessarily Oh crap! Now if I can finish that without peeing myself, um <laughs> won't let, give you a weapon necessarily, but you know, you get something like this that'll hold them back so you can run away. Kind of like the flares, or in this case, I guess, flashbang grenades. <laughs> Missed by a mile.
I hope Maine could lend me a car to get to the coal mine. in, Mr. Wake. Oh, I'm so glad you could find the time to do this, Mr. Wake. Nowhere to run now, Dan Brown. You back away from me. Don't hurt. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I never caught the Dan Brown reference. That's awesome. Cool your jets, Nightingale. We got him. Jesus Christ. Jesus Priest. There's a civilian in there. Why is he just shooting everything? What the hell? I had fallen off so many cliffs it was ridiculous. That's what you get for naming a book the sudden stop. It was probably good I hadn't had the chance to tell Maine where I was going. I'd have to lose the cops and find my own way to the mine. Now that I have a gun, Pretty good shots, Vienna, if I uh, do say so myself. There was no sensible reason for the power company work lights to be here. It was almost as if they'd been left for someone like me to use. I'm out of flashbang grenades. Switch back to my revolver. I don't really need the shotgun right now. Sarah trusted her gut, and her gut said Agent Nightingale was an asshole. Duh. He felt wrong, and it wasn't just the smell of stale booze. It was in the way he flashed his badge, pulled rank, the look in his eyes when he wanted answers. Where was Alan Wake? What was this about an accident? Where was his wife? And most importantly, why did she let Wake go? He wouldn't answer her questions. Federal business was all he'd say.
got some batteries, some ammo. Hello? It's the most stubborn man I've ever met. Alice? Alice? Alan. Alan. I'm so afraid. It keeps me in the dark. Please help me. I look at you, Alan, and it's not you. It's something else. Looking out from behind your eyes. Alice, I'm here. I'm so alone here. It's all gonna go to hell. You need to be careful. Cooperate. The connection had been terrible, but that wasn't the only thing that hadn't been right with the call. She sounded wrong somehow, but she had called me. Yeah. Um. It wrenched itself loose from the bridge's steel framework. Wrapped in darkness, it floated in midair, twitching. For a moment, I didn't understand what I was looking at. The heavy object lurched at me with impossible force. I threw myself out of the way, but just barely. When I turned my flashlight on it, it shook in a dark rage before it flew at me again. Great! More foreshadowing. Something over here. Um. More paint. There we go. Um. But I'm glad he caught what was messed up about that phone call. I hope all of you caught it too, because, I mean, come on, it's, there's obviously something going on with that phone call. Shotgun ammo, and batteries, ooh, and flares. Alright, 16 shotgun, 42 pistol. Glad I had some ammo to replenish that. Probably don't want to go down that way. I could see a railway bridge up ahead and a warehouse of some sort on the opposite shore. I hoped I could find a car from there. Hey, guess what? I think this is, you know, that thing we read with the pipe. Yeah, I'm gonna guess that's gonna about to happen. I will say that is something I really like about this game is how, you know, you pick up those manuscript pages. If you go out of the way, you find them. <laughs> You'll catch some, uh, some foreshadowing. The darkness that was pursuing me was growing stronger. And it was taking over everything in its path. Oh. How I was fighting just I was Gee <laughs> I feel like I'm fighting Jedi. I slammed the door shut right in his smug face. 
He pleaded for me to open the door. True to form, the asshole actually thought I would obey. I had no sympathy left, no guilt either, not for him. I took a moment to savor the scream. I bet I had a smile on my face. It was all that I had time for. The dark presence was inside the lodge with me. Oh, that sounds great. As a teenager, just started to get interested in writing. Stephen King had been a source of inspiration to me. I thought about all the inanimate objects that had come to life in his books. No one is safe in a good horror story. Certainly not the protagonist. That's what makes them fun. This was anything but. The darkness could possess anything. And it was getting closer. Oh, <laughs> look there. We got a... We have a much better flashlight now. And uh, you'll get to see me use it in the next video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a good, scary time along with me in this game. Um, God knows I am. I love the crap out of this game. It's so much fun. Um, can't wait to uh, see what happens next. Well, granted, I know what happens next. But, guys, thanks so much for watching. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, and my website down in the description below. Hit me up down in the comments. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying what you're seeing. You want to give me some love. You want to help support the channel. All that stuff. Tell your friends. All that. Check out the other Let's Plays going on. Check out more in this series. So, guys, until next time, I am AJ Gels, and this is the Elm Without Gaming Channel. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I'm out.